Next up, I am pleased to introduce Conference Mess Seth Magaziner. Before serving Rhode Island in Washington, he made significant impact as our general treasurer, promoting economic opportunity and overseeing programs like College Bound to help families save for higher education. Now, as our representative in Congress, he continues to fight for economic justice and educational access. Seth Magaziner. Good morning, everybody. It is really exciting to be here with such a full room supporting EPI and congratulating EPI on 25 years of incredible impact. Think about over 25 years how many young people have been lifted out of poverty and given access to opportunity and a better education and a better path in life because of the work that has been done at EPI to put out good data and to advocate for good policies at the State House and in Washington. So thank you, all of you, for the impact you've had. To Wayona Nelson Davies and Dwayne Keyes and the board and staff at EPI, thank you for your work. And for everyone who came before, Linda Katz, Rachel Flume, and everybody who's been involved in this organization for the last 25 years, we are grateful for your service. Congratulations to all of the award winners, and thank you to my colleagues in government for your show of support for EPI here today. Every Rhode Islander, regardless of their background, regardless of where they are from, deserves the opportunity to have a good, comfortable life, to reach their full potential and achieve their dreams. But so many people continue to struggle, even here in the wealthiest and most powerful country in the history of the world. Generations of poverty and structural racism continue to hold too many people back through no fault of their own. But the good news is that we know the answers. We know what works because of EPI and other organizations around the country that have done the research and done the work. We know what policies to advance to help lift people up and expand opportunity. Policies like bringing back the child tax credit, and expanding the earned income tax credit as well, making the people at the top pay their fair share and having a fair tax system in this country. Woo. We know that. We have an opportunity to do it next year. We know that policies like universal preschool and child care and free school lunches are good, not just for those young people, but for their parents and their communities as well, and we have to fight for them also. We know that SNAP works and WIC works. We know that the Affordable Care Act works that needs to be expanded and built upon. And we know that despite the constant attacks from the right, that being mindful of structural racism and leaning into DEI programs at schools, in government organizations, at companies, is the right thing to do for everybody. So let's work together to use these tools that we know work and put them to good use. Um, I've had the honor to represent Rhode Island for almost two years now in Congress alongside my partner Gabe Amo in the House of Representatives, uh, but we've had the misfortune of doing it in the least productive Congress <laughs> since the Civil War. Because too many of our colleagues on the other side don't understand the importance of investments and in fact are trying to take us backwards, are trying to cut the Department of Education, cut SNAP, cut WIC, cut school lunches, cut the Affordable Care Act, eliminate the Affordable Care Act. And so, there is a lot at stake in November. There are a lot of people counting on us to turn out and to advocate for people who are on the right side. And I want to thank you all for the work that you are doing. I want to thank you for your partnership. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, but we know what will work, and we know how to build a world where no child goes hungry, where everyone is given a quality education, where everyone is given a pathway to success. We're going to get it done because of all of you. Thank you, everybody.